Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, ma'am. I am Jamil Salikula Single. I'm here now to report the method used by Lobachevsky. First, who is Nikolai Lobachevsky? Nikolai Lobachevsky was a Russian mathematician and geometer, known primarily for his work on hyperbolic geometry, otherwise known as Lobachevskian geometry, and also for his fundamental study on Dirichlet integrals, known as the Lobachevsky integral formula. He is also a founder of non-Euclidean geometry, which he developed independently of Janos Bulyai and Carl Gauss. So, si Nikolai Lobachevsky ay kilala sa kanyang mga gawa, kanyang ginawa na hyperbolic geometry. At di kalaunan tinawag niya itong Lobachevskian geometry. Siya din ay isang non-Euclidean geometry. So, hindi siya naniniwala sa Euclidean geometry. Another of Lobachevsky achievements was developing a method for the approximation of the roots of algebraic equations. This method is known as the Dandelion Graphy method, named after two other mathematicians who discovered it independently in Russia. It is called the Lobachevsky method. So, <clears throat> ang, ang method na ginamit ni Lubachevsky known for Dandelion Graphy. So, ano ba ang Dandelion Graphy? Ang Dandelion Graphy, the expression involves the squaring of two polynomials of only half the degree and is therefore used in most implementation of the method. So, <clears throat> Hyperbolic Bolyai Lobachevskian geometry, completely independent from Bolyai, Nikolai Ivanovich Lobachevsky had also been working along very similar lines as Bolyai to, be, to develop a geometry in which Euclid's fifth postulate did not apply. So, in hyperbolic Bolyai Lobachevskian geometry, hindi na nagamit yung Euclid's fifth postulate. Hindi pwedeng gamitin yung the two line parallel and in the end point will meet each other. Next, his work on hyperbolic geometry was first reported in 1826 and published in 1830. Although it did not have general circulation until Some later, among Lobachevskian, other mathematical achievements was the development of a method for approximating the roots of algebraic equations and the definition of a function as correspondence between two sets of real numbers. Hyperbolic Bulyai Lobachevskian geometry So this the example image about the hyperbolic Bolyai Lobachevsky geometry. So this is the method used by Lobachevsky. The lines through a given point P and asymptotic to line R. So the line P is asymptotic to the line R. It means asympt asymptotic means Approaching but never connecting with, with a line or curve. So, yung asymp asymptotic ay hindi sila, hindi sila magkakonekta ng linya or curve line. Like in the image I put. Non-intersecting lines in a hyperbolic geometry also have properties that differ from non-intersecting lines in Euclidean, proper, in Euclidean geometry. For any line R and any point P, 
which does not lie on. In the plane containing line R and point P, there are at least two distinct lines through P and do not intersect R. This implies that there are true P an infinite number of coplanar lines that do not intersect R. So it means an inf uh, true P an infinite number of coplanar lines. So infinite, walas ulang katapusan o walang hanggang number na mag inters na do not intersect R. So, next. Take a Another example. This early non-Euclidean geometry is now often referred to as Lobachevskian geometry or Bolyai Lobachevskian geometry. The sharing the credit Gauss claims to have originated but not published. The ideas are difficult to judge in retrospect. Other much earlier, earlier claims are predated to the 11th century Persian mathematician Omar Khayyam and to the early 18th century Italian priest Giovanni Saturi. But their work was much more speculative and inclusive in nature. So this is the hyperbolic geometry, this image. It's a curved line. Thank you for listening. I hope you learn about method used by Lobachevsky.